out running in race number two. International favourite is Walford ahead of uh, Takato, Litham Sedans, and uh, then a gap to uh, claim the Roses. Just waiting for this uh, signal to come through for the uh, the running of uh, race number two is the Elnabuda Civil Engineering coming up over 1600 metres. Dashing a ride and winning the first by Tygo Shea on JB Space who went all the way. Satish Seema, the uh, winning trainer of race uh, number one. He's coming across the track as you can see on the Silk Zero Macau Marcelona, the rider of Claim the Roses. What a uh, dusty day with the, the wind in the UAE. Now the light is on, so Shane Ryan, the starter, has pulled them forward. Mokara has uh, gone up towards the barriers and is loaded forward now. Welford will be the next to come up towards the uh, barrier stalls. Luna Macon is uh, coming up. Just getting some information through from the uh, stewards on one uh, runner. Stand by. Just take note, number five, El Cartier will be racing without the hood. The hood's been taken off El Cartier. Must have been a, a malfunction with that equipment, so uh, that's been uh, removed. So the attendants now working on Takatul, trying to bring it up towards the barrier stores. Jim Crowley rides Takatul, horse number three. Takes up its spot now, El Cartier coming along. Sands hood. Claim the Rose is about to go forward and Litham St. Anne's with its familiar white uh, visor on. Now we're almost set for a start, just about ready. Start is in position, this is race number two. 1,600 metres, gates are back and they're racing. Valcartier was a little bit tardy into strike. Claim the Rosa sprung the lids, came away quickly. Over on the inside, Mokara goes through to second. Takatil is uh, caught out wide into the first corner, followed by Albanathi. Between horses there is uh, Mutamakana. Over on the inside, Welford now going up onto the leader's back. Out wider on the track, Litham St. Anne's kept in the clear and trailing it is Valcartier as they race into the back straight. And they run their way down that section now and going through to the front is Mokara led from Claim the Roses. Up on the outside, Takatil in third position. Welford leaders back fourth. They were followed by Albanathi and out wider is Litham St. Anne's covering a bit of extra ground. Watermakin's being pumped along and to its inside is Velcartier. They went 24-70 for the first section. Down the side they come and Mukara for Dane O'Neill. Slipped out by three parts of a length over Claim the Roses. Welford over on the inside just being healed forward. Takatil getting a taste of the Persuader on the outside. Litham St. Anne's spot the leader about three and a half lengths travels into it strong however they were followed by Albanathi a gap then to Muramakin and Valcartier but they turn for home the leader Mokara up on the outside claim the roses a length and a half away Litham St Anne's down the outside followed by Welford under pressure then Albanathi and Takatil the front runner still Mokara they come to the final uh, 250 it's well clear Mokara is out by three on claim the roses Welford knuckling down followed by Albanathi Litham St Anne's had enough after a tough run but it's Mukara well clear and Mukara is going to win and win comfortably. Mukara from the inside pole takes it out by four. Second claim the Roses, third in Albanathi, then Welford, Takatil, Litham St Anne's. Well back was uh, Mutamakin and Valcartier. Mukara has been able to go through on the inside. Went to the front underneath the claim the Roses into the first dog leg and uh, has held them safely at bay. So the first two winners have led from the front and uh, kept rolling here. And Mokara for uh, Dana Neal and Erwin Sharpie, a convincing winner just at second start in the UAE. So Mokara improves off its first effort behind Asmar. Here going back a few weeks ago, that was on the turf, switches to the, the dirt and loves it. Second to uh, go the way of Claim the Roses, sticking on well. Albanathi will get up for third and Walford has better on well after seemingly being under a bit of pressure at about the 700 metres mark. 
Zakatil was under pressure a long way from home, was uh, well beaten in Lytham St Anne's covered ground. It was never really a possibility. 6 1 4 8 3 and 2 on race number 2. Second race and another dominant performance from on the front end. And Mokara has made a real mockery of anybody doubting that he wouldn't go 